Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre. Thank you so much for joining the channel today. I am here with Spirit to bring light, love, and clarity from the divine. And as always, take the messages that are meant for your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. All right, let's see. We're going to check out the portal today and see what the premise is for today's meeting. All right, here we go. Yep, we're going to use the solar light upgrade, all right? The solar plexus chakra, which is your inner fire and your willpower. This part of you is because in order for you to shine, you need to get to the heart of the matter. And what's happening is your energy is shifting. You're going to be going through some sort of alchemy. And that is where we're going to take lead and turn it into gold. We're going to look at this transformation that we're currently in and taking that deepest, darkest part of ourselves and making it into something greater. In other words, we're going to take something negative and turn it into a positive. So understand your emotions at this time because what's happening is you're changing, you're metamorphosing. And so there's shifts around you. There might be situations, people, places, and things that are uncomfortable and you have no idea why. It might be something in your everyday routine and all of a sudden you don't like it anymore. And you're like, um, I need to get through my day and why am I feeling this way? Some of you may even just want to break down and cry, you know, um, and that's okay. Don't hold it in. Um, I'm not saying break down and cry in front of your coworkers, right? But find a peaceful place where if you need to just take a quick walk outside, always a good shift for your energy and or turning on music. But there's something um, about it's got to be real. And it's so interesting because I actually heard that song this morning. It's by Cheryl Lynn, L-Y-N-N. -N. And if you get a chance, an opportunity to play that song, got to be real. It's because you don't want anything else in your life that's not authentic, that's not genuine. And even though it's um, an upbeat love song, the message for you is it's got to be real. All right, let's go ahead and ask spirit guides, ancestors, and higher beings. What messages do you have for Pisces today? Thank you so much. Anticipation. One more? Yeah. All right. Here we go. The star. Hell yeah, you want to be the star. Absolutely. This is inspiration, fulfillment, and faith. Faith actually should be the first word on this card because through faith, that is where we get um, our hope from, right? This is where we get to get up in the morning and say, no matter what, we have this determination that today is better than yesterday. I can't change what happened yesterday. And even though I'm looking forward to tomorrow, I'm going to stay in the present. And how can I fulfill my cups and let these emotions pour out of me so I can put my wings on and become the star that I am meant to be. You want to walk on water? That's the feeling, that's that inspirational moment that you're going to have once you allow everything to pour out of you that no longer serves you. And then with that same water, you're going to nurture what is inside you to promote additional growth, okay? You see there's no plant life in this picture of the star. It's more of this cosmic being because you're becoming one with your spiritual self. And you realize that there is more to life than the mundane and the everyday activities that no longer bring you joy. You're looking for that stepping stone, that ladder that's going to take you into the heavenly realm of your beautiful being. So I love this because you're going to be shining like that star. Nice. It's like knowing your true belief in yourself. Purple and green. People wear purple and green this week as much as you possibly can. It is your protector. It is your healer. Six of water. Yes. Okay. When you're looking at this solar light upgrade, you are going to be going through some sort of portal that brings back some memories of your childhood and nostalgia. Take the good with you. I want to show you. You see the cups behind you? 
These are the cups right beside you and behind you. This is your fulfilled cups. You see these cups here? They are babies. These plants are in the baby form. These are parts of you that needed to grow and did not. And for whatever reason that, you know, things that took place in your past, you know, spirit is helping you look at the bright side of things and see that the decisions that were made, the choices that you had available to you at the time with the knowledge that you had within yourself, you were only capable of going this direction, right? But your abilities now are much greater because you have learned from your mistakes and also more importantly than anything, you are accepting for what was and now looking at what can be. You're opening up the sky here. You're putting all of the dark clouds behind you. Forgiving yourself is really difficult at times and I understand that. And your solar light upgrade is helping you shift that. You might get triggered here and there during this week, but understand it's just like one of the angels coming in and saying, you know what? It's okay. We love you unconditionally. And you're not that same individual anymore. Be at peace with yourself and see the spiritual guidance that you are being given so that you can use your talents, your gifts for something greater. All right, get out of town. Nine of air, enough already. Releasing negativity, work, worry, sleeplessness, okay? Who wants a bed like this? Who wants to have that face of worry when spirit is right above you, as always, okay? It's a shift, but it's like there's light all around you, and you need to see that. I understand what it's like to be alone. And even in a relationship, what it's like to be alone, where you feel isolated and you, you, you know, you're, you're craving this love again, green and purple people, you're looking for what is real and what you want in your bubble. So in order to do that, it's about releasing this anxiety and understanding yourself knowing full well that you're more like your past does not define you. I mean, I know it's cliche, but it's absolutely true. If that was the case, imagine of all of the people in this world that haven't moved past their previous lifetimes or something like a poor decision that you can't take back. It wasn't meant for you to, to take it back. It was meant for your higher learning. So accept that and call in your angels for sure. Archangel Raphael. Yeah, I don't know why, but Raphael is coming in strong right now. So thank you, Archangel Raphael. There you are. Ace of fire, opportunity, creativity, and action. Do you see this in the baby form? Absolutely. When you remove the nine of air, that energy from your being, it opens up the doorway for opportunities and new growth. You are being spiritually guided and gifted to have this creative place in your life to take something like a ball of clay and make it into a sculpture. Your ace of fire, it's a new passion, people. New passion, pink passion, 10 of earth. Heck yeah, there's your outcome. All right, this is you. You've already walked through the doorway, the portal, the open way, right? You're going to have your security. Honor the traditions that are important to you and what matters. 
Hmm. Is somebody getting a new dog? Not just because there's a dog in the picture here, but I'm actually seeing somebody wanting a new dog, a new pet, some sort of companion that, you know, animals teach us as, as well as humans. And there is this um, contentment to have. Huh. Yeah. Some sort of newfound wonder and happiness is going to take place, but it's not going to take place until the fall. So what it's telling me is this is your outcome. Rest assured by spirit. You are being divinely not just guided, but allowing them to lead you into the star that you're meant to be to get you out of this night of air energy and accepting your past and your present and living in the spiritual moment. You know what? Let's go ahead and ask the angels for specific advice. Angels, how can you help Pisces through this change, through this solar light upgrade? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, oh, take time to breathe, people. Yeah. Well, and here's the good weather, right? The good weather's here. So definitely you want to thank your angels so that you can breathe at ease. I like this. All right. Because this is decompressing. This is, look at her arms open wide. I am ready to receive, Lord. That's what you want to say. Bring it to me. And look at this. The angel wings right behind you, okay? The shadow parts of you that are opening up and accepting every part of your being, realizing you matter. Your life, your love for yourself, your peace, your tranquility. This is pure contentment right here. No more juggling, people. No more juggling. And move your body. You may have already received this last Sunday. Um, this is about thanking your angels for motivating you and moving your body and energy. All right. I like it because it definitely will shift your vibration during this solar light upgrade. And I can't express that enough. I swear to you, if you go and you're having a moment recognize it coming in and if you want to stay there for a bit and let it flow through you great but don't stay there too long it is about turning on that radio dial and putting it on something that's going to move you and groove you you want to raise your energy and let the universe know that you hear them you understand what's happening and you're ready to move forward Yeah, I like it. All right. This is what I call my cheerleader card. This is the cheerleader section. All right. Yellow. All of this healing that is gone on, it's all on the ground, but you're, you raised it. You're higher now. All right. Because the spirit, the spirit realm is lifting you up on their shoulders and saying, can you see, can you see from up here what we see that you belong you're part of something such, such unique and far greater than you can imagine. You hold the light in your hand. And they, that, so you want to thank your angels for surrounding you and that surrounding you with people that lift your spirit, motivate you, inspire you, bring you to new heights of a well-being person. Having trustworthy friends, you'll seek them out. And the reason why is because your intuition is so heightened right now that you can feel it. Anybody that comes near you, they don't see what you see. They don't feel the depth that you feel. You can notice it right away. It's like when somebody takes the oxygen out of a room, it's suffocating, which means you have to depart. You have to descend out of that, right? But 
when you walk into a room that's filled with joy, honor, integrity, laughter, realness, you can't wait to join in. You want to get right in there. And that's, that's the people that you want to surround yourself with. All right. Let's go ahead and ask Archangel Michael for some advice. Archangel Michael, what advice do you have for Pisces today? And thank you for lifting your spirits. All right. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for providing us and protecting us. As always, and cutting the cords with that that does not serve us. You're going to regain your focus. Love it. This is not only Archangel Michael, but it is also Archangel Metatron, who is, again, my rock, right? And it's about trivial life matters that distract you. So Archangel Michael is cutting that out. And... He is also with Archangel Metatron helping you stay grounded, right? Staying grounded. This is two people in one taking both your personalities, the one that keeps you grounded and the one that sees your higher self. So I like this very much for you, Pisces, because no matter what this transition is, it is meant for us and it is going to be the catalyst that gets us to our ten of earth, which is what we all are looking for. And this is your potential outcome as soon as you get through this shift. So regain your focus. Take what is most important, right? This is about prioritizing your health, your well-being, your spirit, your soul. Body, mind, soul. Remember that. My body, my mind, my soul is all in harmony with one another. All right, Pisces, continue to like and subscribe. It's got to be real. Take care, everyone.